Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto E7 Power, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification for this device. Now, with that being said, I am gonna quickly mention one more thing. I will be also recording another video for this device uh, as a general Android video. So this method will work for basically all the, or most of, hopefully, Android devices that are running stock Android. Now this is running, I believe, Android 12 uh, with the newest security patch right now. So this would be uh, January 24th, uh, 24, 19th of 2024. Um, I mentioned the date and all that stuff just because at some point Google will release another security patch and this might make this bypass that I'll be showing you uh, ineligible, not working anymore. So therefore, hopefully at that time, I'll be able to record a new one, uh, assuming there will be some kind of vulnerability left in the system. Anyway, so to get started, uh, we first, or I am first gonna mention that the device you can see right here is locked. It has this little lock icon right in a corner and it's telling me to verify the Google account. Now, even though this device was locked also using a pin, that's what I set up on it, it just kind of skips over that for some reason, uh, which isn't necessarily normal. Uh, but in any case, you can clearly see that the device is locked. Now to get started with the bypass, uh, we're gonna back out to the very beginning of the setup, though if you haven't done so yet, connect to your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, I am connected, so you'll be able to also see right here. So if you're at the beginning, you haven't gone anywhere yet, uh, go through the process of set up, uh, setting up your device till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page, then select your Wi-Fi, and then once you have connected to it, you can then back out back to the first page right over here. Then we're gonna select emergency call and then emergency information, tap on that twice. And next, we're gonna click on the edit, I, edit button of a pencil and you wanna select your name. Next, we're gonna tap on the dropdown for the photo and you want to select choose an image next we're going to click on the three uh, bars while we're in the explorer right here uh, and we're going to select photos though you don't want to click on it you actually want to hold it this in turn will take us to the apps and the notification page so from here you want to select search button Actually, first we need to select permissions and then search button. There we go. And in here, you're gonna search for settings. Now you'll see we have a bunch of uh, results. We only care about the very bottom of the list, this exact one right over here. Now, if you have for some reason more than one settings showing up, which is possible, uh, that it says just settings. I want to clarify that. Uh, open up the one that will have inside the open option. So only one of those will have this button right here. And that's the one that you will be looking for. You wanna select obviously open. And next we're gonna navigate to apps and notifications, which is what we're gonna select right here. And then you wanna select app info, and it will give you 35 apps installed or however many it shows for you. Next, you want to select Android setup. It should be somewhere at the very top second one for me and here select force stop confirm it and then go back and next you're gonna scroll down to google play services so right over here google play services and this you're gonna select disable disable app and force stop and confirm it now additionally you might want to also mute your device because you will probably be hearing this kind of uh, notification sound quite frequently so that's what I'm gonna do right here. Once that's disabled, meaning the Google Play services, we can go back again. And we want to basically backtrack all the way to the setup screen. There we go. Next, we're gonna progress through the setup. Uh, in a moment, you will see the copy apps and data. Um, you're gonna select, actually, you're not gonna select anything here. You're just looking for this screen. Once on it, you want to back out the back button once. 
This will then take you to the Wi-Fi connection page. Now here, uh, all you're looking for is to make sure that we have the option to set it up offline, which we do. So right now, everything is working as intended. So um, unfortunately, now we basically need to backtrack again and repeat all the steps to get back into the apps and the notifications page so we can re-enable Google Play services. So again, we're gonna select options. I'm not gonna basically be talking over it anymore. I'm just gonna do it quicker. If you get lost, you could just start the video from the beginning where I was going a little bit slower. Okay, so now that it's enabled, uh, we are going to again back all the way back to the beginning of the setup. Assuming uh, we can maybe, let me quickly check something. Yeah, so we're backing out. So let's start spamming the back button. Now, uh, one more thing that I'm going to mention, as you've seen for me when I typed in settings, it didn't show it up for the first time. Uh, it looked like just some kind of bug. Uh, it might have been that I either mistyped it, but checking it, it didn't seem like I did. Uh, so I just removed some of it, retyped it in, and it showed up with the settings. Not sure what happened there, but obviously you could see that it was easily fixable by just trying to retype this search term again. In any case, I'm going to progress through the setup once more, the same way that we did, did before. So once you get here, you want to back out. And this time around, we will select the setup offline option and continue. Now, the reason we didn't do that the first time around was because when Google Play services is turned off, it basically gets a glitch. So you shouldn't, if the device is detected that it's a lock, which it does so right away with the lock icon right there, and you have the option to set up offline, it will check with the servers. But obviously, if you have no connection to the servers, it then just starts to detect that something is off and it just won't work. So once you have the option to set up offline visible, you re-enable the play services, that option stays for some reason. Uh, but because the device then checks, uh, I have play services, you have the option, everything seems fine. So you can then finish up the setup. Now, <clears throat> even though we can finish up the setup right now, uh, you will see that, or maybe not see actually, but, um, so yeah, we're on the home screen. The device is technically usable, uh, but there is one last thing that I recommend doing, which is performing a factory reset of the device through settings. Now, the reason I recommend doing so is because there is still some leftover from the previously used accounts, patterns, pins, whatever you had, uh, which might interfere later on while using the device. Obviously not something that you want to have happen to you. So easy way, just navigate to the settings, select system at the bottom, advanced, Actually, we need to select that. We have the reset options a little bit above. There we go. And then erase all data, factory reset. And then select erase all data once more. And then once again, once you press on it, it will begin factory resetting your device. Now, the reason you want to do this is when performing a factory reset of your phone through settings, like I'm instructing you to do right now, this will force the device to remove any kind of protection that is put on the device. Uh, that will also include the previous ones like the Google account and for instance pin pattern or password that was uh, used on the device. So that's the last thing that you want to do just to be absolutely certain that the device is fully unlocked. So there we go. Now I'm not going to go through this process on the video just because it's honestly a little bit of time wasting. It's a fully black screen. Once it's finished, you're then taken to the setup screen at which point the device is fully unlocked so you can set it up in whatever way you want to. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.